Hey, everybody. How's it going? I don't really have anything to add to the drama, but I put it in the title because whether I want to talk about the drama or not, um, we talk about it. So it comes up. I already had like 10 posts in the chat about it. <laughs> um, yeah. And so forth. It's funny, if you want actually like good takes on the drama, other than mine, thanks Dankle. Um, 999, that's a lot. Thanks Spencer, go Spencer. Um, if you want good takes on the drama, there's actually intelligent people who are good at chess who talk about it, not just people who want views like me. Um, so if you want unintelligent um, takes on the drama, then go to Hikaru's channel. Um, if you want confused takes on the drama, you can watch the C squared podcast, which is really good. I like that podcast. It's real. I mean, anything with Fabi's great, or you can watch Niraditsky. Those people are just confused. Um, but if you want a good take on the drama, um, you got to listen to, uh, Ben, um, Ben, what? I've only known him for 20 years. Uh, Ben Johnson, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> if you want to watch a confused old man, I'm right here. Um, ben Johnson has a podcast, which you guys know about Perpetual Podcast. And he has guests on lately who are grandmasters and they're scholars. They have like PhDs and statistics and stuff. And they explain how a lot of it is just noise and a lot of the, the proof is just nonsense and how you actually get proof and, and such doesn't mean that Hans didn't cheat. It's just that the people who have proved that Hans cheated then give nonsense. So proving something's hard. Now, of course, we can be philosophical about it and you can look up the, the teachings of Gettier who obviously stole everything from Bertrand Russell, but that's, that's neither here nor there to find out what, what knowledge you know, truly is. Um, other people in, in that, you know, in that genre of philosophy from like Wayne State in the 50s, we have Alvin Plantinga. Um, there's Gettier, obviously. Uh, and who's the other guy? Plantinga, Gettier, and uh, yeah, I'm a crazy old man. I can't remember their names. So like knowing something is hard to know. So obviously when you think somebody's cheated, you're just guessing because you don't know. And it, and it, it sort of begs the question, you know, when when and this was this was posted about two days ago on Twitter, some some random people were interested if you took a queen off the board if that was winning. So like the starting position of chess, the one that you see, and just take take black's queen off. And the answer is, of course it's winning. Well then prove it. And the grandmasters are like, we can't prove it. We can't show you the mate, but it's winning. Trust us. <laughs> and then they had the engines play each other to show the gawking rabble with an extra queen that the engine with the extra queen always wins, which isn't necessarily proof, but I, I guess. So some things we know for sure without, without proof. I know if I take black's queen off that white's winning. You guys know that too. But I can't prove it, but I'll beat you every game. I'll beat you every game if I take my queen off, but that's not the point. So some things you don't know, you just, you know, Magnus feels that Hans cheated. And Magnus is using, you know, his inductive reasoning. He cheated before, he's, his rating went up a lot, he beat me with black, and he just adds up the evidence and says he cheated. But, and then people back Magnus because, you know, they like Magnus. And, and, and they want to believe, you know, it's more likely somebody cheated than actually did hard work and did something because in, in most people's lives, they don't achieve stuff through hard work. They do get it through luck, right? It's not like Trump worked hard and made money. Trump was given money and he lost it all and he, they kept giving him money like George Bush. You just keep giving them money until they have money. So people usually don't work hard. They just tell you to be quiet while they're announcing the lottery numbers. So it's a lot easier to beat Magnus if you're cheating than actually working hard. And so by Occam's razor, <clears throat> which doesn't really explain why Hans has so much hair, so Occam's razor doesn't apply here, then, you know, that's, that's why they assume he's cheating. What's funny is how lucky we are as a society 
to have this chess cheating scandal because we wouldn't have it if Magnus had won that game. If Magnus beat Hans, like none of this would ever happen. I don't know what I'd be doing. I'd be playing people and losing online. I don't know. I'd be bored out of my mind. So we have to thank Magnus for starting all this and for losing. Magnus started all of it. He lost to Hans with White, withdrew from the tournament, played one move and resigned. Thanks, Magnus. And made some like semi-crazy statement. So thank, I want to thank Magnus.